Moringa Oleifera is a small, drought-resistant, graceful, deciduous tree with sparse foliage. The tree grows to 8 meters high if allowed to grow without trimming and a trunk diameter of 45 centimeters. Bark of the tree is smooth, dark grey and the wood is soft. Leaflets are dark green above and pale on the undersurface. The plant is said to cure more than 300 ailments and diseases. Easy to cultivate and resistant to drought, this tree produces abundant leaves with a high concentration of proteins, vitamins, essential amino acids and minerals. 100 grams of dried Moringa oleifera leaves contains 9 times more protein than yogurt, 4 times more potassium than bananas, 14 times more calcium than milk, 10 times more vitamin A than carrots, and 12 times more vitamin C than oranges. The Moringa oleifera tree can and is used for many different objectives, from cosmetics, cooking, lubrication, as well as cleansing of water. However, it can also be used in livestock feed. We're going to talk about uh, animal feed. We have a complete set of videos that shows how to uh, use the Moringa branches and stems for animal feed, okay? When leaves are harvested to be processed into the all-important powder, the branches and twigs are thrown away. However, they too can be of importance. We also use the regular steam and branches. Uh, if we only use this one, uh, we will come up, up to 11% uh, protein, but also we used to throw it away. Leaving the upper leaves of the branch to be processed into pellets will provide up to 22% in protein for livestock. If we use this part of the Moringa tree with the upper bushes, it will come out to 22% of protein, which is high uh, for any other vegetable. With the rising costs of animal feed, Moringa comes in handy in providing the required protein for a variety of animals. This is especially so in Africa, whose climate is most ideal for its growth. Nowadays, we have a, a need for a animal feed. It's very expensive and hard to get protein, especially in my country, uh, which we have a problem even for human food. Uh, the Moringa uh, brings us the opportunity of having it very easily and very cheap. The Moringa will grow everywhere almost. We all know, especially in Africa, east, west, south and uh, it is an alternative nowadays so we can raise animals, different animals, rabbit, fish, uh, cattle, sheep, goat, poultry, uh, pigs. Pellets are an easy way to provide nutrients and protein to your livestock. The best way to uh, use a moringa or to make more benefits to animals is pelletizing it. Is pressing the moringa already ground and dry, of course, and pelletizing. This way, animals will uh, take advantage in his digest uh, system to uh, to consume the nutritive nutrients, vitamins, proteins. To produce pellets, some specialized machinery is required. Okay, this is a, a it is a grass cutter, but also has sieves, a, 
of different diameters that uh, can ground. Now we're uh, doing a grass cutter mode. See, this sieve is, it doesn't have holes. And then, no, we don't use this one because, okay. See, uh, this is, these are four blades, see? This cut whatever gets into this tamis and these are the hammers, okay? When we do this mode, we close it here, it will, you put the grass inside and it will come up like this, all right? The moringa branches and twigs are allowed to dry before being taken through the grass cutter. The following are the ingredients to be used in the pellets. Moringa branches and sticks. Molasses. May stalks and cobs. Moringa leaf powder and some water. You can not only add the, the moringa, you can add to it a corn, you can add uh, mulasa, you can add uh, minerals or whatever, you know. And depends of the size of the pellets, it depends of the animal you're gonna feed. The various ingredients are put through the shredder. then put through the shredder again but this time a different plate is placed in the shredder. The plate used during this stage is a two centimeter plate. third round of shredding using a 3 mm plate for us to get a finer mix. And the finally one is the 3 mm sieve. Okay? This is the pellet machine. It's overhauled now. Okay, we have a 10 horsepower engine. And it's got a, a transmission, car transmission. We'll go one side here for, for power. Then we have the sieves. Uh, depends of the diameter of the holes. That's the size of the pellets. And it is important the size of the pellets depending on the animal you're going to fit. Uh, for example, poultry will be smaller ones, fish, uh, cows uh, will be this one, pigs, and you can go for bigger ones for goats or, or bigger animals. But this is the sieve. It goes right here. Moringa leaf powder and some drops of water are then added to this mixture.
are high quality pellets with up to 22% protein. As the saying goes, you are what you eat. Moringa has been proven to increase cattle's weight gain by up to 32% and milk production by between 43 and 65%. We, we, we have to make this clear. That formula, I mean just the Moringa, pelletized, is for maintenance. You can keep an animal alive, uh, very healthy, but it won't get that fat as uh, you wish uh, in case of pigs or, or animals for meat, uh, as you do with uh, concentrated. But we have a winning formula, which is, as for pigs would be very nice to use 70% concentrated, 30% Moringa. But also you need a, a Fitas. <laughs> I have to look up for the English. Fitas enzyme. Uh, that will make the pig assimilate more what it's it eating and will gain easily 800, between 600 and 800 uh, grams daily at the end uh, before uh, it will be uh, beneficiated. Uh, but if you use the, the seeds for that formula, that you will add uh, more protein and you will add uh, fat. Uh, you could go up to one kilo, 200 grams daily. Uh, we're talking good genetic, of course. Uh, about pigs. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make your best. Uh, create, <laughs> create, think, and try to do uh, mixtures that will enrich the pellets, like soy, corn, uh, whatever <laughs> will make it richer. Thanks for the attention. Given the world food crisis, the use of local resources like Moringa is critical to reducing dependence of developing countries on imported goods and to improve nutrition among poor households. Eat and plant Moringa. <laughs>